Hi, this is Shauna from the Bristol Library, and today we are going to be reading No Fuzzball by Isabel Kong. Hello, I am No Fuzzball. Perhaps you have never heard a name like this before, but that is because you may have not met a queen like me. My subjects worship me. Hear how they scream my name everywhere I go. No fuzzball, no fuzzball, no fuzzball. We live in my queendom in total harmony. See how my subjects do all of my bidding? They entertain me, feed me, groom me, massage me, and shower me with presents. Oh, look! A new gift! What a perfect queen-size bed. No fuzzball! No fuzzball! No fuzzball! Ugh! Sometimes it can be a little too clingy. They messed up my royal coat! A queen cannot tolerate such disrespect. I demand a formal apology. Wait, they left? How dare they forget their place? What has gotten into them? Ah, yes, of course, my subjects must be so ashamed of their behavior, they want to find the perfect royal offerings for me. Glad they took that disgusting, slobbering mess too. Finally, some peace and quiet. Time for some uninterrupted beauty sleep. That nap was divine. Now, where is that personal masseuse of mine? She knows I must have my daily massages. Hello, I'm awake now. They're still gone. Where did they go? They have never been away this long. They are not that smart. What if they are lost or hurt? Maybe someone captured them. What if? They just don't want to live in my queendom anymore. I know. I will be a charitable ruler. I will make them the finest beds, share my finest toys, spoil them with the greatest gifts. Nothing is too good for my subjects. They are family. I'll need to redecorate the palace too. I must redesign the racetrack, carve out the best napping areas, and freshen things up with my signature style. They are going to love my royal renovations. Ruff, ruff. What is that noise? My subjects have returned home? Fuzzwall! Wait, what did they call me? Has it been so long? They've forgotten their queen's name is... No fuzzball, no fuzzball, no fuzzball! Aw, they love me! And that was the end of No Fuzzball by Isabel Kung.